in the gun, but so far today, exclusively in the gun. German with trips left, throws under duress, incomplete. I think Quentin Stevens heard a lot of footsteps. What are y'all even doing? This video is brought to you by Pure Talk, brought to you by Pure Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are ready to replace your cell phone, is it time to replace your cell phone? Do you need to replace your cell phone? The battery life sucks. The screen is cracked. Come on, give yourself the best opportunity possible with the brand new 5G Samsung Galaxy phone with Pure Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll get a free 5G Samsung Galaxy phone with two days of battery life edge to edge display ultra strong gorilla glass when you sign up today with peer talk unlimited talk unlimited text 15 gigs of data for only 35 dollars a month plus it comes with mobile hotspot so get all the data that you will ever need and get a free cell phone on the most reliable network the 5g network so make the switch to my cell phone company peer talk today customer service is off the chain right here in the united states of america all you have to do is dial pound 250 and say brandon tatum that's pound 250 say brandon tatum get you a free samsung phone today ladies and gentlemen like and subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you get notification anytime i go live I make a video make sure you still subscribe to this channel like this video comment on this video, share this video. let's get into this ladies and gentlemen gentlemen and late times I, I i like cringe when i see stuff like this and i don't know why we give women false sense of hope when it comes to these different scenarios of, of, of having them play football. Like, listen, only entertaining football that women play is lingerie football. Let's keep it, let's keep it 100. Women cannot play football with men. Honey, she's a girl. And girls can run countries, they can sit on the Supreme Court, they can discover radium, but they can't play peewee football. Correct. Why can't we, let, let's look at it this. If women want to play football, why can't women play in a women's football league? I, I don't have a problem with that. I don't think nobody has a problem with that. Women can come together and play football in a female football league. But let me tell you why women don't want to do that. Because nobody will watch it. Nobody will watch a 5'6", 200-pound office alignment pull and, 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 and block a linebacker that's 5'5", 150 pounds. Nobody on planet Earth would watch that ever. They already know that it's not going to happen because all you got to do is look at the WNBA. Nobody's watching that. People want to watch the NBA. Now, let's get to this subject here. This girl and a D3 team plays football, end up making USA Today or Morning News, Morning America or something. She ended up getting all this praise for her playing on, on a football team with men. But let me show you how trash this girl is. And I don't know why they pumping her up. Just let her play for a girl's team. Wrote a clip. Build about the 22 yard. So they bring her in the game. Third line. So now. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that cheerleader doing with the helmet on? She's in the game right here. Watch, watch. Watch the play she make. Or not make. Third down intermediate. From their own. 23, 24 yard line. She have no where she don't know where to go. <laughs> she running around, don't know where to go. She's playing safety, so uh, if that should tell you anything. Yeah, third down, another big play. As I said, uh, formationally really diverse for the Eagles. Usually they mix up being under center. So they obviously don't want to put her in that position. They just put her in there to blitz because she can't do anything else. So she's sitting right here on the end of the line of scrimmage. Roll the clip. In, in the gun, but so far today exclusively in the gun German with trips left throws under duress in that ladies and gentlemen is a late hit that's a late hit that should be roughing the passer but since she's a girl they're not gonna even call that let's let's go back to look at that this is roughing the passer in, in the gun but so far today exclusively in the gun German with trips he threw the ball already he threw the ball he's throwing the ball right now then she go and grab him and pull him like they finna lay in the bed and have sex what are you doing? You ain't playing football. This ain't this ain't no Netflix and chill. Make a tackle. Look at this. Look at this. Left throws under duress. Are y'all cuddling? Are you tackling? Incomplete. I think Quentin Steve. But because it's a girl, they don't want to call the flag on roughing the passer. 
Okay, let's listen to her on morning news or whatever, and then we're going to get into her uh, roster profile, her height and weight, which is <laughs> out of control. Evans heard a lot of footsteps and came up empty at the 25-yard line. Yeah, Quentin Stevens has made some nice plays early on. Number 10. Look how they babying the girl. Like, I, I get it. They babying her. They patting her on the head. Oh, look at you. Oh, don't line up here. Line up there. Like, if you can compete, then you can compete. If you can't, why y'all putting on the charades? Let me let you listen to what she has to say. Nothing against the girl. She just shouldn't be playing football with boys. Good morning, guys. How, how did it feel, Haley? Did you wake up in the morning and think, this is going to be the day? I think I'll make history today. Yeah. Something like that, you know, <laughs> just <laughs> out here to be playing football and it's game day. And, you know, you always got to be excited. Well, you know what? Most of us, anyone who's ever. Let me say this before I get to doing this. I want people to understand it's not the young girl. She got a great attitude. She's probably a great competitor. She's probably very smart, very proud parents. She's probably doing everything that she thinks that she could do. They are the ones setting her up for failure. She should not be playing football with the boys. If they don't have a girls team, you just can't play. You should not be playing with the boys. You em you're an embarrassment to football. No offense, but you're an embarrassment to football. Played a sport knows what it's like to ride the bench for a long time, and then finally your number gets called. But you didn't just go in and make an average play. You went in there and made a great tackle. Tell us what it felt like in that moment. Um, I mean, words really can't describe, but if I had to put it into words, it was just an amazing moment because, you know, I've been working. Like you said. That's not even a tackle. What are y'all? What is a bunch of women on TV talking about football? She did not make a tackle. If this is what you're talking about, they playing it on TV. This not me. They playing this play. This is not a tackle. He threw the ball. This is actually roughing the passer. But regardless, they didn't throw the flag. This is not a tackle. A tackle is when the person has the ball and they're proceeding to run with the ball and you tackle them to the ground and the play is over. You, you can't call a tackle when the guy don't have a ball in his hand and you essentially roughed him by tackling him without the ball in his hand. Like, I'm okay with glorifying and celebrating women, but quit. Why you got to lie to her? Why y'all got to make up a whole? This didn't happen. There was no tackle, and that was, should have been a penalty, but they didn't call it because it's a girl. At two years, that's it's a long time to be sitting on the sideline, and, you know, I earned every moment of it because, you know, you don't see half, half not even half the things that go in behind that moment. So, to me, it was, a, it was just a big moment to be able to crush my own goals and then make a statement for just the football community and, you know, show that women can play the game at whatever level that may be. I mean, you are showing the way, showing how it's done. How hard have you had to work not only to be in this kind of shape, shape and be able to... I can't watch it no more. I can't watch it no more. Let's go to, let's go to her roster spot. Because I, I can't... Like, like, there are women... There are young girls out here, I wish I'd have said this at the beginning, that are really good at... That probably can play some football. They exist out here. They could probably play football. They could probably do well at football. This girl ain't that one. So how about you reserve the morning news and, and all this celebrity status for a girl that actually can play football? This young lady, unfortunately, she has no talent to play football. She absolutely had no talent. And this is coming from somebody who was an All-American in high school and I played college football. I should have. I was in the NFL draft in 2010. So this is not coming from somebody that also didn't play football. I know what it takes to play football. And this person happened to be a safety. Now look at this. The roster position is free safety, safety, 5'6", 145 pounds. 5'6", 145 pounds. I wasn't even 100, I wasn't 5'6", 145 pounds in middle school. This, this girl is playing in, in, in a D3 college. This is nowhere near the type of stats you can have to play football. Unless you the bat, unless you got... You got a uh, 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 vinegar and, 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 and snake venom flowing through your blood, and you run a four two and a forty. There's no way that you can be five six one four, 145 pounds to do anything. Now, of course, they put her in and let her blitz. If they put her in on defense, she had to make a tackle. That would be a night. That'll be a nightmare. And how embarrassing for the team that you got all these dudes on the team, 
and they got a chick on their team. They got a chick on their team. Like, that That just don't make sense. You're embarrassing the, the, the boys, the men on the team. And then she's not a big chick. It's not like she's 5'10", 180, 6'3". She's 5'6", 145. She's the littlest person on this list right here. She's like in the corner right here. All these dudes, and she down here in the corner. Now, really, they probably want to smash. They're not thinking about. They're not thinking about no teammate. If they were, then let her let her go in the locker room and, and uh, change clothes with the men and see what happened. Can she? Is she a part of the team? Let her go in and change in the, in the men locker room. Oh, you you won't let them do that. Okay, you know why? Because men and women are not supposed to be on the team together. I don't think it'd be a, it, it'd be a fair, it'd be a team effort if she went in the locker room with the men and changed and took a shower with them. Would he? Would they? Okay, that's what I thought. Then if you can't take a shower together, you can't work out together and be in the same locker room, then why are y'all even on the same team? It's all a virtue signal. Let me just say this to all the young women out there that's aspiring football players. Go and play football with women. I wouldn't recommend lingerie football, but that's the only football that's entertaining for women. There ain't no other football that women play that's, that people would even watch. And I hate to say it, and, and that's with, that's almost with any female sport. People may get mad at me. You have to sexualize the sport for people to try for people to watch it. I'm just telling you. If if you just ran, let's go to let's go to let's go to volleyball. They got booty shorts on. You go to beach volleyball. They in a thong. Now, when you talk about competitive levels, men are far more superior in beach volleyball than women are. But who ain't gonna go and watch a woman in a thong? that's got a great body, play volleyball. That This is how they sexualize women's sports to make them competitive with men's sports. Just like track and field. The men are, are far more superior and impressive than women in the track in every event. But what does the women do? Look at the, look at the clothes they wear. They got, they got bikinis. They running in bikinis. That's what they doing. Only sport exception is women's basketball. And most of them because they all like dudes anyway. Um, they, some of them are good looking, but they, they, you know, they gay. All of them are lesbians, most of them. And that's why they don't sexualize that sport because nobody watching it anyway. But if they want to make women's basketball a lot more appealing, they'll let them wear sexual, pro, sexually provocative stuff. And then people will start watching it. I, I could put my, I'll put my life on it. That's what would happen. Go, go look at women's tennis. Why do a woman need to play tennis with a mini skirt like that? Men don't. They have shorts on. Women have mini skirts. I could go down the list. I said track and field. Look at cheerleading. They sexualized cheerleading. Nobody's watching the cheerleaders. I was at the I was at the Cardinals game just yesterday. Ain't nobody watching these cheerleaders out there. But if they're sexualized, people will be looking at them because they hot, because they sexual. People are watching the cheerleaders and hoping that a boob fall out or the, or the girl hit the splits and you can see something. This is the psychological game that they play, mostly against men, in order to get women involved in these things. Because a lot of times women do not have the ability to compete in the same sport as men. Are there women's sports that are great that women can compete in? Yes. Should women be able to play football? Yes. Play on a women's football team. Having women play in a men's football team is just, it's asinine to me. It's, it's disrespectful to the game of football. It's disrespectful. The game of football is camaraderie, teamwork, grit. Hard work and a competitive spirit. And also, you want brothers next to you that you know work just as hard as you and they have the same ability because then you feel like y'all can actually win. This girl is doing nothing but detracting from the team. Now, I'm not blaming her. I'm not blaming anybody. They want to let her on the team. That's on them. I just think this is a, is a poor precedent set. Just like the girl from Colorado, kicking field goals. Come on, bro. She can't even do the kickoff. She don't have a strong enough leg to do a kickoff. Then they got to kick in these little the, uh, extra points. They don't have her kicking a field goal. They bring the dude in to kick the field goal because she don't have the talent nor the ability. Now, if it was a guy with her talent, he wouldn't make the team. They wouldn't have a guy on the team that couldn't kick a field goal and an extra point and do the kickoff. You would not make the roster, my man. You wouldn't make the roster. Just like this person. Nobody would make the roster and play safety and you five. A, a guy that's 5'6", 145 will never make a team on any college football, anywhere, anytime, any place. It'll never happen. And you go in and make a you go in and make a tackle like she did. Your, your butt will be chafed at how your coach is going to grill you. 
he's going to rip you a new one. If you go in there halfway running, make a halfway late tackle, I mean, his eyeballs will pop out his head. He'd be screaming at you so hard. But since she's a girl, she's probably not going to be in the film room getting lectured. She's not. They didn't even throw a flag on that play. Okay, we all get it. Uh, I, I know I'm bashing women. I just It makes me mad, man. Football is football. If women want to play football, play against other women. And if women play football against men, give them a fair evaluation like you would do a man. Tell them that her game sucked and she did not even make a tackle. Can we, can we keep it real? All right, I'm, I'm out of here. I'll see you all on the next one. Get you one of these Pure Talk phones. I'm out.